yes so very good so we can see now the logs getting analyzed as you can see the packets which are dropped by firewall with this app you can find out how many gateways are reporting to the management server let's let's do some live log analytics now uh, let's go back to our dashboard and create a rule uh, in application and url filtering blade and we'll create a drop rule to see like uh, in creating a live uh, kind of scenario like you, you drop the packets and the same will be reflected in splunk and okay so let's drop youtube traffic from checkpoint firewall push the policy once the policy is pushed uh, we'll go back to the client and uh, try to access youtube which will be blocked and then immediately we'll go back to the splunk and then see whether all this uh, the drop by firewall statistics is updated as expected okay so policy is pushed now we'll close go back to the client and let's try to access youtube so as as for checkpoint yeah this is getting blocked this is expected now go back to a uh, checkpoint tracker if you want you can see the packets are getting dropped or you can check in the splunk whether packets are getting dropped properly so click on you can change the timing like last 15 minutes so our uh, this app will automatically adjust according to the time so in the last two minutes as you can see here there are two packet drops uh, by the application and url control blade you can try out accessing the other links like firewall application url ips you have an alert section so here you can see a lot of data like facebook google app if you notice there is a confidential on the top so if you see that confidential uh, I suggest you can just reboot your management server once. After installing the LUA client, you just reboot your management server and you should be able to see all the logs properly. Now click on system syslog message. This is an interesting feature of uh, this tool where you can uh, send the syslog messages from Gaia operating system and it will tell you, uh, it will do some kind of analytics and it will give you some useful information. So right now there is no log. Which we are sending what we will do is we will log into gaia the checkpoint gateway or management server it can be anyone and what we have to do is we'll just send the syslog messages to splunk so splunk becomes your syslog server you don't have to do any other configuration on uh, the app which we have installed you just push the Gaia syslog messages to Splunk and that's it. Click on syslog messages, click add and type the IP address of Splunk. Okay, that's it. Now let's go back to our app and click on alert section. What we can do is let's open up the putty, log into our Splunk. okay this is uh, the checkpoint uh, device so let's just try to log into the checkpoint device with some wrong username and password type some commands so what i'm going to demonstrate now is if you do anything on gaia operating system everything will be recorded uh, in splunk so we did you know we added some dns entries save the configuration right let's go back to our splunk and click on log messages change the timing accordingly here you go as you can see here the commands which were run what were the invalid users at what time how they were trying like ssh so these are the stuff which we'll be able to get so this is a nice tool uh, to find out if somebody is trying to guess any password for your system and you can change the timing like for a couple of you know you can give a range one week or one month and you can you will still be able to find all these details. Thanks for watching.
We appreciate your feedback. Bye-bye.